Dummy lock the gate so it looks like it's locked. Hi, Pickles. My dog is here. Hi. I have a sea can here that I keep my saddles in the winter time. And I've just built a false front on it so that it looks like part of our town. It works really well here for us to stop and have a little tea party and enjoy. Today is always the best day. So the first thing I'm going to do is set out their breakfast, some oats. They're all getting a little bit older, so I give them rolled oats. They like that the best. How'd you come in there, bud? Oh, great. You were in all day. Okay. Just a second here. We left the gate open for you. Hey, good morning. Hey, good boy. Good boy. It's okay, bud. It's okay. Yeah, so this guy, he rammed a stick on his neck the other day and he's had to go to the vet and get some work done. Hey, good boy. Cool son, cool son. Good boy. Yeah, okay, Leroy. He's been a little bit. We're going to come this way, son. Mm -hmm. I know, you guys are hungry. Yeah, this is second day. Okay. okay. There you go, bud. Oh, buddy, so it's always good to just talk to your horses so they know where you are at all times. And there's no surprises. There you go, Bailey. They're good boys. They are hungry horses. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, you get your stitch out today. That's good. Okay. So I'm just going to set out some more feed for everybody. Hey, good morning, Benny, our little donkey. He is so cool. So donkeys, some of them, they have this cross on them that's a total cross and they believe, the lady, that, the fellow that sold them to me said that the last thing to go to the cross with donkeys or with Jesus was a donkey and he cast a shadow on him. So he's like our little savior. You're a good little boy. That he needs it, but you would like a little bit of your own breakfast, right, bud? Come here. Move this out of the way. You can eat right here today, okay? okay? That'd be okay? Yeah, that's a good boy. I know. How was your night last night? Good good boys. Be right with you. Oh, I love the smell of horses. Hey, buddy. I just want to give you your medicine. So he needs a little bit of painkiller just to help him get by until we take his stitch out. And Leroy, well, first we'll go with Bailey. Hey, good boy. Hey, buddy. Oh, you finished your oats already? OK. 
okay. That's okay. Good boys. Yeah. Hey, good boys. Hey, good boys. No, it's okay, son. Oh, no, you like this stuff. It's okay. Hey, good boy. Ah, good boy. I'm going to go be a little bit quick. There you go. Good boy. Okay. Kind of like some people don't like Madison. <laughs> How about you, Leroy? You're a good boy. Hey, good boy. Oh, he's a good boy. So this guy, he's just lately doesn't really want us to do a cinch up. And really, it's not his nature. So I'm treating him for an ulcer. Hey, good buddy. Because that's maybe why that's hurting him. And so we're giving him some medicine to make his tummy feel better and then he'll be happy. All right, so now I'm going to feed them again. <laughs> They're all older, these horses, so they can't really eat too much, most of them. I've learned so much from horses. No matter what, they're just very patient. They wait, they're calm, they're still. That's a good boy. Hi, how are you, Checkers? He loves everybody and he just wants to try and please us. He's just been wonderful to have join our group. Okay, boys, I guess it's your time for breakfast. Yeah, let's back up a bit. Back, back. Good boy. horses are having their breakfast. I'm going to go and get a fire going in the store so that's nice and warm. It's a little bit chilly today so people that are coming it's nice for them to be able to get out of the cold and just come in and enjoy a cup of tea or buy something at the store. Start it a little bit here. Who's helping you with wood? Pardon me? Who's helping you with wood? Like where you get it? Oh, um, I get it from a fellow up by Elk Point, Carson. He's amazing. This wood actually though, a friend helped me with it was a tree in my backyard <laughs> that died. So I get it wherever I can, but yeah. And this time of year, I go through more wood than I do all summer because it's a little bit chilly and it's just so nice to come into the wood stove. Horses have always really been a big part of my life. I, when I, my, I have three daughters and when they were little, I would take them, first of all, when they were in smugglies for a ride, I would take them in front of me and I'd have another one that went behind me because I had three of them. We would go down to the neighbors and have cookies and milk. And I did that because it was just a fun way to get out of the house and a fun way to spend with our horses. And as time went on, the neighbor's children, they wanted to ride too, so they would double back with us. And they were wanting to start uh, coming to my place and to start giving, paying me because they wanted their kids there all the time. So I started just having birthday parties and I put a picnic table out in the middle of a field and just started having birthday parties. I found that Everybody was just having such a great time and it really fueled me to want to um, add on. So any, any value that I, I've gotten from the riding, I put back into purchasing 
building supplies and just thinking of ideas how I could add on to this little, little town so that it would make it a place where people could really have um, a memorable experience and remember enjoying themselves. So I'm just going to clean up this manure a little bit. Normally they're so good they try not to go at all in the corral. They wait till we go out but because I had the two I had to doctor they were in the corral overnight and of course they had to had to go. So but it's also part of our exercise program. <laughs> Keeps you in shape. Wow, it looks like we're gonna have a gorgeous day today. Such a blessing for this time of the year. Every day is a gift. We are in the area here where we are on the route for all the geese to go south. So you're gonna hear geese go over us constantly because this is their route to go south. We're just so blessed this whole area that we have this town on. So as you're coming in the store, we've got older games like Chinese checkers where the kids can learn some of the older games that we used to play. Uh, we just have a few things on display that bring back memories for some people. A lot of people remember wearing these saddle shoes. That's kind of cool. I was trying to make it in here a little bit like a restaurant and I had my grandkids come and they sat down here, three little boys, and they went, you've got some customers, Nana. So I think it may be, uh, it may be worked. But this is where we can sit down. This is a, one of our old wood, um, the old fridges that they had. I forget what they called them. But I put ice in the front, in the top, and it keeps the bottom very cold. So it's just like a fridge. It's, it works great. And my stove here, I make all the bacon and eggs and pancakes and whatever else we have for meals. It works really well. Really neat old stove at Kit Scotty Antique. Um, and it, it works so well. It really heats up the whole building and uh, we just love it. The jail we came up with because I love kids to use their imagination and pretend that they've gone back in time. So I always tease them, you know, any whining and you get put in jail. It kind of shows everybody how they can, uh, you know, we used to use the telephone and one thing that's kind of neat in here when it warms up, I open up these saloon doors and they can pretend that they're coming into the saloon. Of course, the strongest drink we have is root beer. Oh, yeah. so, who you want? Oh, I'm eating all the horses. Okay, how are we doing here? I'll get on. Sure. Okay, Dorota, that's a little bit... Put your other foot in, maybe. Mm -hmm. Now, if you stand up, you can have one hand under you. Relax. Do they feel good? Yeah. Oh, okay. You like them a little bit long, then, so that's okay. Checkers is a sweetheart. Okay, very responsive, but there you go. Okay, you're welcome. Hey, buddy. How are you doing here? This looks a little bit loose, hey? Yeah, let's see if we can fix that. There you go. Okay. You're good to good there? Yeah. There you go, good boy. Hmm. Horses are great animals, but you don't have any problems, but you got to do everything right every time. I learned from when my first ride went out to make sure you just take your time and do things. I broke my leg, <laughs> so now I know to take my time. So you want to sit up like a proud cowgirl or a cowboy, because today you're your horse's 
leader and so he wants to be shown what to do otherwise he's just going to be a horse and probably eat right okay and if you have some happy feeling inside that's transferred to your horse too he's like i got some good energy here i'm going to have good energy and then you want to have him just kind of so that he can stretch his neck but if i wanted to turn him i would just raise them up like this and go and he'll feel that on his neck and turn this way or he'll turn that way right and then otherwise if they've got their ears back they're just showing you body body language i'd like a little bit more personal space so all you have to do is just turn them over a little bit if they weren't really listening you would bring your hand down here and i just go and if you give a little bit of pressure and release they they will that's a thank you when you do the release they'll pretty much go where you want hi buddy he likes to be i remember up. you know as a teenager i was able to have a horse and i actually I've always been around horses all my life, but really getting into my teenage years, it was a place where you could go and just de-stress. So what would happen is, it's like going to a movie. We go to movies so that it can take our mind away from things and come back and, and just refresh. Well, when you're with horses, they are just in the moment. They just want you to enjoy where you're at, your surroundings, their company, and they've got so much good energy and love to give you that they help you to slow down and be calm and just be, be just be. Take your mind away from things and enjoy life. Enjoy the outdoors. So I always love to go and spend time with my horses and ride. And now I, that was something that I wanted to do when I raised my kids. I wanted them to have that same experience. Good boys, and give him a little looser rein now. He wants to move. Yeah, come on boys. Good job. Okay, so you can turn your horse. Yeah, good job. brought my grandchildren out here and my little girl she says I said this is my, my enchanted forest and she goes Nana it's magical <laughs> so I'm like I think we need to rename this <laughs> so this is Henry and his name he's a fjord horse so it's kind of cool that he's Henry fjord <laughs> oh that's good he can see today hey so they're, they come from Sweden and they're a driving horse. So he goes and prays and he drives a cart. And he's just like a big Eeyore here. I'm sure I got some good ones in there. Good. You already had a piece, I think, didn't you? So you want some more. <laughs> oh yeah, right, you guys got this cool hairdo going on. <laughs> you mean a good boy, hey? Well, good I, did boy. Have, I did have some lessons in white horse and in, a, well, in Nova Scotia I kind of did a little bit because we had to make it. Okay, I guess these are the biggest hit, hey? Yep. <laughs> Horses are so good, especially for children or people that have a bit of anxiety because when they're around the horse, the horses are calm and they're still. And you can be silly, you can be busy, you can be excited, but soon the horse brings you back down to earth as to just being in the moment and enjoying what is now. And they give you a good feeling inside because they have this energy field where their hearts are five times bigger than ours and they just feed you all this goodness and you can't help but feel better when you've spent time with horses. This is our school. 
And the kids, they just love using their imagination, coming in and pretending they're the teacher, doing little teachings, and taking everybody for a field trip. So this is uh, one of my buildings that's really played in a lot. So this is our little church. The kids just love playing in here. They dress up the donkey or they dress up the horses and put on a wedding gown and have, have a wedding in here. And I've got some really cool vows. Do you promise to rub her feet every night and make her tea before she goes to bed? And they just get laughing when they start to say all their vows in here. But it's also a dual purpose when we have camps. I show little horse movies or little clips of my girls trick riding. Before they go to bed, they get to see a nice horse movie. Okay, this is my log cabin. This is where, if I have ladies retreats, or I have three day overnight camps for little girls, they get to sleep. It uh, works out really, really well. We've got a wood stove in here that we can get really toasty, warm for everybody. I have three daughters and two of them were trick riding for 16 years and now they coach. Um, this is my youngest daughter, Amber. She's a school teacher. And my other daughter, Krista, the middle girl that's uh, RN. And they both have seven, gra seven children between them now. My oldest daughter, she's a professional dancer, was uh, on the cruise ships. This is where I get to put all my dust collectors. <laughs> this is my mom when she was a lot younger. She's been passed away for quite a while. The kids really love to come in here and sleep. This is where they get to stay. They've got a couple of double beds. They can sleep up top in the loft. And then we always have a guide that stays with them, an older lady or a, uh, another girl that stays in here with them to help them. This is our dress shop where if uh, kids, when it's mainly used for kids that come to camp, they've got all the different costumes in here, wedding dresses that they can dress up and play and role play, or families that come out and want to have a, a nice Western picture with uh, the, the authentic costumes that they could wear. I love my horse camps because I have children for three days at a time. They stay over two nights and it gives them a chance to really bond with their horses, but also they get to learn a lot of different life skills. So they learn respect and they learn how to work around horses. They learn the good values of hard work and teamwork and just working um, with another taking care of another big animal that's 1,200 pounds and trying to understand how they can communicate with this animal in such a way that he will understand what they're asking for. One mom told me that her daughter had learned more in three days than going every day all winter long once a week because they're just submerged in their own horse for three days and looking after them, caring for them. This these honey brushes are for the faces. Yeah, so to steer it you would lift your arm up and then turn him and when he feels that on his neck he turns this way. Yeah, and the other way he would turn the other way. And if he wasn't listening for some reason a little bit, then no, then you could just reach your hand down here, this other hand and then just bring his nose a little bit and then give him a release because that's a thank you. And you do that a little bit and he knows what you want then. <laughs> okay. So you see yours is tight on this side and it's loose on this side. Can you make them the same? Take them in two hands like this. One of the things you can expect when you first come to Graham Town is just to learn how it evolved, but then you get to, to learn about your horse 
And that connection, it, rather than just come to a place and jump on a horse, a horse wants to feel safe as you want to feel safe. And so it's really important to learn a little bit about horseology and what's important to them. And so I start you off with just introducing you to the, showing you around the town and the different buildings that we have. They will be open for you to view afterwards. And then um, how our horses are a prey animal and how their ears are, you know, how big they are compared to ours and they know all the horses heartbeats and now that you're here they know your heartbeat as well so they're feeding off of your energy and they just want you to feel safe and they don't judge you they don't lie they're always honest they just want to give you some kind of love so what I like them to do is let them, you know, smell them, the, the horse smell them, their hand, and just to feel, start to make a connection with maybe brushing them or just being around them and getting some of that energy where now they're just feeling that calmness, that in the moment, present, not worrying about their shopping list or what happened yesterday or an argument on their way here. They get to just be themselves. Mm -hmm.